Just to start, I thought it was important to note that more than one in seven women and also one in 10 dads experience changes in their mental health before, during, and after pregnancy, um, it's, and which is the, the perinatal um, period. It is important to be aware that every year more than 400,000 infants are born to mothers who are depressed. Um, and this makes perinatal depression one of the most underdiagnosed um, obstetric complications in America. So just looking at it from a clinical lens, um, those numbers are, are extremely um, troubling. Um, so as, as most are aware, the perinatal period is the time frame from conception through the first year after giving birth. This period includes the risk that may occur at any stage, including um, those fluctuations in hormones that happen in pregnancy, post-birth or postpartum, um, as well as during that onset of lactation, so right after. Um, in terms of the perinatal mental health, we are looking for signs and symptoms that may be common in, in any of the, the more typical perinatal mood anxiety disorders, um, which include perinatal depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, perinatal psychosis, as well as PTSD. Um, and while to many, these disorders sound pretty common, right? Um, especially those in a mental health field and they affect people at any given time in their lives. It is important to note that there is an increased risk during the perinatal period, and the symptoms can sometimes have a unique presentation. Um, so that's why it's also so important when we talk about um, having a more of an understanding as to the person as a whole that you're treating, it is so, so important um, in order to be able to recognize um, changes in their presentation, right, and, and what might be underlying those changes. So, so some of the common signs and symptoms could include um, anything from excessive sadness, so crying excessively or reporting that they're crying in the middle of the night, you know, in the bathroom with the door closed or, you know, crying in secret. Um, I've heard that, you know, many times from, from women in that perinatal period, just feeling overwhelmed much of the time. Um, irritability, agitation, sometimes you hear, um, people say that they just feel this overwhelming anger or rage, and they're not sure where it's coming from. Um, sometimes there's this excessive or inappropriate, like feelings of guilt and hopelessness, feeling worthless. Um, and again, not understanding where that might be coming from.